This is called a Canadian planting harness and basically it allows the planter to have different species of trees. We've got three, three pouches, uh, one either side and one in the back. Um, and also uh, it can double up as uh, a, a bag for holding fertiliser, for putting some fertiliser on the young trees as well. I'm replacing dead trees um, for the last time. Uh, this this uh, particular part of the plantation is five years old and uh, every year after planting you you walk every row basically and replace the dead trees. So this is the last time I'm, I'm doing that. We've made this a massive focus for the government because obviously we're facing a climate emergency and we have to try and do everything we can to try and tackle that. And a huge part of that is tree planting because there's so many benefits that come from that. There's the huge amounts of carbon that trees store, but as well as the knock-on benefits that that has for the economy. So we've set really ambitious targets over the next few years. So our targets right now are to plant 10,000 hectares a year. Last year we beat that target, we planted 11,200 hectares. And to try and put that in context that's about 22 million trees and that stores about nine and a half uh, tons of carbon uh, out of the atmosphere so it's absolutely incredible but we don't think that that's good enough and we've increased those targets so that by 2025 we hope to be planting 15,000 hectares of new trees every year. For us, tree planting is an extremely important thing. Uh, we've got a number of drivers for that. I mean, one is obviously as forestry people, we love the idea of there being more forests and the benefits that they provide. But we've also got a challenge where in about 20 to 50 years time, we've got a shortfall in timber. And we know we need to be planting more trees now in order to provide those increased supplies to help fill that, uh, that falling away of availability. So we've been working with the Scottish Government uh, for some years now to put in place uh, a scheme which pays people who wish to plant trees and to make sure that's attractive and also operates efficiently. And as a result, we've seen a significant increase in tree planting in recent years. It's interesting that uh, with climate change, and Scotland is a wet country, uh, and in the summer we can suffer from floods, and trees, because they soak up water, basically they intercept water, uh, it means that we're planting them in some cases for flood prevention. Uh, a lot of the lands, the, the hills, were denuded of trees hundreds of years ago when we introduced sheep. So now by putting trees back into the landscape, we're starting to protect areas in a natural way from flooding. Yeah, there's a nice little guy in here. We think that the 10,000 hectare target was quite a modest one. Uh, so we need to at least keep that going 
but with, with, with climate change breathing down our necks, we have to do a lot better. And literally every tree is a soldier in the battle against climate change. Every tree we can get in the ground is going to soak up carbon. We are now all singing from the, the same hymn sheet, really, and the um, uh, the Scottish government has played a role in that. And the, the government, uh, you know, listens to us and as they listen to the commercial sector, uh, and and they see forestry as an important uh, part of part of our of our country. So I think that has been the reason. Uh, it's 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 got a higher profile here than it has in other parts of the UK and it's seen as being more important. So uh, I think a lot of the problems that we used to have, they still have elsewhere. Uh, but we just, we've been, because we're in a smaller unit, we can speak to each other, we understand each other more. Uh, and, and there's a common purpose. I think climate change gives us a common purpose.